we're going to talk about Hoodoo's new rack management feature. We're going to show off how it looks inside one of our example companies, exploring the tool set, and then we'll show you how the admin can get started in setting up our rack management feature. Now let's explore one of our examples. I'm going to navigate to our company and we can find rack management on the left hand side under our core tools found here. We have the option of seeing an existing rack that we have built out, but let's take a look at what it's like to build one from scratch. As I hit new, we can see the name and other field types, so that way we have the exact specifications that we're looking to document for the specific item. But now let's take a look at one of our examples, in this case one where we already have named, in this case its position, as well as its utilization rate, which Hoodoo will automatically calculate for you. To see further details, we can hit the expand info, where we can see a full picture of the details around the specific item. Just like the rack utilization, power utilization and draw will both be automatically calculated as you fill out each item down below. We have our front and rear sections that we can customize and build out attaching to specific devices. In this case, we have a specific network switch, which if I click into will take us directly to that entity as well as the other details. And on the other side of that, if we are working through and we click on one of these devices, if it is already assigned, we'll see its exact positioning and the rack it's connected to. Just like our other forms of documentation, you are able to relate other types of items than just a specific device assigned. Here in this example, we've added an article that we felt was relevant, as well as images so that way we have the exact specifications and more details that are relevant to this specific section of our documentation. When we're ready to add a new device, we'll scroll down and select one of our open slots. We can, of course, edit existing ones. So if I click here, we have the edit tab where I can make any adjustments that I need. But if we start from scratch, we can see that we can choose the size of the item or determining how many rows it takes up, the positioning, as well as whether or not it's reserved. If it's reserved, we can add a specific note for the entity that will be placed here. Or if we already have an existing item, I can hit used by device and choose from our assets. In this case, when I originally search, we are only selecting Atlas, but if I hit global search, it will look for all entities within our instance, so we don't have to be pulling from one company only. Below that, we can choose our role, which we have customize and can color coordinate, which we reflect in the backside that we see here. This is all fully customizable in the admin section, and we'll wrap up by showing that off. But here we'll be able to choose the specific role for each device. Then below is going to be the power draw and max wattage, which as stated before, will go into the calculations of how much is being used by each section and device. Finally, let's show how admin can set up their rack roles. We can find that under basic setup in the admin tab here at networks and racks. Clicking into this, we'll scroll down a little bit, and for today's topic, focus on this section here. We can add new rack roles as we need, customizing by name, description, and that color assigned to the devices who inherit that role. We can, of course, edit existing ones here, like if I choose my computer servers and hit edit. We can change that color, description, and name whenever we need. Also worth highlighting that you don't need a color associated with our virtualization host. You'll see here, we have no color selected. Thank you for taking a look at our new rack management feature. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to our support. Thank you.